Hi, this is Sean Sullivan from Technique Peak, and I'm discussing today a progression of the lateral hip distraction stretch we showed earlier in the video. Uh, this is if you are trying to help a patient improve their hip flexion or rotation range of motion, especially in a position of flexion. Um, so we can use a similar technique that we used before for the lateral distraction, but we're now going to move the patient's femur closer to their end range restriction and then provide the pull from there. So. It has a similar setup as before, patient supine on the table, uh, belt around the table, stabilizing his pelvis. Uh, the belt is placed just inferior to his ASIS. We're gonna use a towel for patient comfort and drape it over his proximal femur. And then we're gonna use a belt on our end to help us provide a, a good level of pull and also so that we can have our hands free to help move the femur into position. So belt is here. You want to make sure that the buckle isn't against the patient's skin or their uh, thigh. We're going to wrap the towel around them and try to slide it as proximal to the femur as they can so that we get the most direct line of pull to the joint. Now from here, instead of before where we were letting his foot rest on the table, we need to position his leg into more flexion. So we're going to bring his leg up into position here. You want to make sure that he's not holding it and that you can really be comfortable and support his leg so you should feel like it's heavy against your hands. I like to keep it rested right up against my body. And then we move his full body or his whole leg into the position of restriction. And then once we get there, you know, you should be doing this for people that are stiff. So it shouldn't be all the way up into their chest, but right around 100, 110 degrees, if they have restriction there, that's an effective position to use this technique. Uh, so you get his leg into position. You again want to make sure the belt is in the right line of pull. Make sure he is relaxed and it's not guarding, otherwise it's not gonna get any stretch. You're gonna do that same little scoop motion from here, and then you're gonna pull laterally, and you're letting the femur come with you so that the femur is moving as a unit out to the side, and feel for that return back in. This belt is doing its job, it's stabilizing him against the table so that there's very little movement from his pelvis, and all the movement laterally comes from his feet. How's that feel, Marvin? Good. Just make sure that the belt isn't causing any discomfort. Uh, if someone is having a lacking rotation, uh, sometimes common with golfers or people that need a lot of rotation with an athletic activity, uh, you might want to bias this into a little rotation one way or the other. So if you get to a point of flexion and you internally rotate a little bit, you can provide the same stretch and come out to the side. And that can help someone uh, achieve their functional position a little bit better. If you perform this stretch and then have them follow it up with an activity that would utilize that range of motion. That's the technique.